Um, hello everyone. I hope you have finished watching the um, earlier video on relative pronouns and how to combine sentences using relative pronouns. Um, next up, I would like to you to look at your sentence synthesis worksheet 6. Um, let's take a look at the first five questions which involve the use of a relative pronoun who. Alright, are you ready? Make sure you have the worksheet right in front of you. Okay, first up, you will have this question. Kayla likes dancing. She is my best friend. Now, I'm using who because uh, do remember uh, who is used to refer to people or person or person. So, in this case, I would like to talk about Kayla. I'm referring to Kayla. So, um, that's why I've, I got to use the relative pronoun who. For sentence synthesis, um, this um, section, you will be happy to note that actually the uh, relative pronouns uh, that we would want you to use to join up two separate sentences to make it to become one, they are all given to you. So you don't have to worry that much. Of course, you do also have to know, you know, um, exactly, you know, why it's uh, this relative pronoun uh, is used but not the other one. Okay? Alright, next. Uh, let's go back to question one. Uh, identify the additional information first um, and uh, identify the uh, main information. Now, um, for in the sentence synthesis, if uh, you are in doubt, most of the time, but I wouldn't say all of the time, the uh, first sentence is usually the main information, while the second part over here is usually the additional information. Uh, you, however, will have to still um, identify and to, you have to ask yourself whether this additional information, does it, is it really necessary to identify, describe or explain? Um, or does it, or, uh, does it appear um, there simply just for interest sake? All right? So uh, you do have to remember that if it is uh, really compulsory, I mean, really describe, explain um, on the, the, next, the main idea, you should not have a pair of commas around it. Okay, so for um, question one, do you think commas are needed? So I'm going to put commas because um, the part about Keller being my best friend is really additional and extra, not needed to identify her. So that's why I have a comma. And the main idea here is Kayla likes dancing. Could you just uh, write this answer down in the uh, worksheet that you have? Um, if you need to have more time to, uh, to write, you just need to press on the pause button. And uh, um, after that, just, re just uh, continue watching the video when you are done. Alright? Okay, let's move on to question 2 now. Question 2. Dexter pays little attention in class. To the first sentence. And um, the second sentence reads... He is easily distracted. So, rule number one, identify the main information. Next, identify the um, additional information. And uh, next up, you also will have to um, see whether that additional information is it really necessary to identify, describe or explain, or is it there merely just for interest's sake. And uh, last but not least, of course, you have to remember to have your commas um, if uh, really necessary. So once again, I will say the first part, the first sentence is the main information, while the second part is easily distracted. Now, um, I would like to repeat, just now I did say that um, in the sentence synthesis section, uh, usually, but not most of the time, the first part is the main info, while the second sentence is the additional information. In that case, um, I say it's additional information because really I don't need to... Um, um, oh, sorry, it's additional information that is very important because I really need it to explain why Dexter cannot pay attention in class. So you definitely cannot have a pair of uh, commas around it. So this is the answer. Dexter, who is easily distracted, pays little attention in class. So like what I said, no commas because um, the part about him being easily distracted explains why he cannot pay so much attention in class. If you need more time to write down the answer, just press on the pause button and you will have um, you will have more time to write. Now I shall move on to question number three. Question three, you are given two separate sentences. The boy is my neighbor. He is sitting at the bus stop. So identify step one, identify the main info. Step two, identify the, the additional information. 
And next step three, you're going to ask yourself the additional information there. Does it um, identify, describe, or explain? If it uh, doesn't, it's most probably considered as unnecessary information and just there for interest's sake. So, what is the final answer? The final answer to this question is, the boy who is sitting at the bus stop is my neighbor. So, um, once again, because it's uh, strictly just um, information that's uh, not really um, necessary, so that's why I am putting the comments around the phrase. If you need more time to write this answer down in your new worksheet, um, just press on the pause button. And after that, just continue after some time when you're done writing. Next up, question 4. Now, question 4, let me read the question to you. That man is a pilot. He is walking towards me. So, once again, step 1, identify the main idea. Step 2, identify the additional information. And after that, um, you've got to, you got to ask yourself, will a pair of commas be needed? In this case, right, um, the man being a pilot has been put towards the end of the sentence, but uh, the man walking towards me, that would be um, the additional information which is needed to identify um, the man. Um, okay, now over here, I've uh, actually made a mistake. So, I do not need really this information to identify. So hence it's additional, but not uh, really that important. Hence, um, I can just have, uh, I should have a pair of commas um, here. All right, because it's really just purely for interest sake. So take note of this, that uh, for question four in this slide, it's um, an important information that is not really needed to identify um, on the man. All right, it's just, uh, yeah, uh, for interest sake. Okay, next up, you will have question 5. Question 5. Beth is different from her sister. Beth is patient. So, following that rule, the first one is the main info, while the second part is the additional information. Now, this time round, make a guess. Do you think um, the additional information is uh, important information that explains, describe, or, uh, that explains or describe uh, Beth and the sister? Okay, in that case, in this case, I have already um, decided that Beth being patient, it's uh, really important. So my final answer contains uh, no commas. So as you can see, I have not put a comma here. Uh, neither have I put a comma over here. And who is patient this part comes in the middle and different from the sister, which is the main idea, the main information uh, presented to you comes after it. Okay, so once again to recap, who is a relative pronoun and that is used to refer to a person since we are talking to only uh, we are talking about a person here Beth I have to use this relative pronoun and no other relative pronouns so please copy this answer down in your in this um, in your new uh, worksheet well that uh, comes to the end of uh, my lesson today with all of you anytime you need uh, more help or maybe say you are really confused do not worry, either you can you uh, should rewatch the video again or if uh, you do know how to do a search on Google, you might just want to read up more um, information about how the grammar items are different and uh, when this particular type of grammar is used and when the other type of uh, and when the other type of uh, answer is acceptable. Alright, so do not worry if you have questions you can ask me anytime. That's all for now, uh, boys and girls. Uh, bye!